Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are most grateful to Sheikh Ahmed Didat for presenting his views and analysis of the Satanic verses. Jazakallah khair. It has been truly enlightening. How Rushdie fooled the West. How true. Weren't we all fooled? We shall begin the question and answer segment of this program shortly. At this time, I would like to invite those members of the audience who would like to ask questions to Sheikh Didat on the topic to form an orderly queue behind the microphone which has been specially provided for your use. If we could come down the right aisle to form the queue and then after you have finished your question and the question has been answered, if you could leave through the center aisle. Identify themselves. You can identify. While you are forming the queue, it is essential that the following guidelines be strictly adhered to. So I would like to, to fill you in. This will avoid the chairman having to interrupt the questioner. This is a question time, not an opportunity for you to make a speech. If you want to make a speech, then I suggest you hire a hall, such as Sheikh Didat has done today, the Royal Albert Hall, and he has graciously consented to entertain your questions. Please, only one question per visit to the microphone. If you have further questions, please just go down the center aisle and take your place at the back of the queue again, so this way more people have an opportunity to ask questions and as well, we get a broad range of questions. Please do not interrupt the answer. Ask your question and be respectful enough to listen to the answer. This is not a debate. Finally, please keep your questions succinct and related to the topic of today's lecture. How Rushdie fooled the West. It is not fair to the speaker or to the rest of the audience to ask a question on another topic. There are many tapes which you can purchase after this question segment which will deal with all of the other topics. There are approximately 65 tapes. If you could see Brother Shamshad, I'm sure that he could help uh, to fill any needs that you might have to get any of the videotapes. And uh, also, if you would please, uh, before asking your question, identify yourself and then proceed to ask your question. Okay. I think then uh, we're ready for the first question. If you could please, sir, identify yourself and ask your question. So I can wipe us the student. Um, just like to ask, should Rushdie die? My son, are you British? Are you British? Huh? Yes. You are a Britisher. Now, if you are a Britisher, you see, I said, how Rushdie fooled the West. You are one of those. And if he did to your queen, if he did to your ruler, Mrs. Thatcher, what Rushdie did, I want to know from you, what would you do? What you would do? I want to know, if you are a Britisher, if you are a loyal citizen of this country, I want to know from you, what would you be doing? Incidentally, the topic of should Rushdie die really is a, a separate topic. And there is a video cassette. It's should Rushdie die, the Islamic verdict, which also is available outside. The next questioner, please. I would like to ask that whether satanic verses can be an insult only against Islam or it is an insult against all religions, including Christianity and Judaism. And if yes, is it not a good idea to ask the leading figures among Christian and Jews to express their views, whether they agree 
with the content of this book or not, because I personally believe it is not insult against only Islam. It is insult against all religions, including Christianity, Judaism, and Hindu religion. And the second thing I wanted to ask, because I or other people here might have the wrong impression that you are supporter of any political figure, could you also clarify that point? Could you repeat the second part of your question, please? I or other people might have the impression that you are personally supporter of certain political figures in this country. Please clarify also that point. Thank you. The second, the second question first. I have no affiliation with any political parties or any religious groups. I am a Muslim and I stand here as a Muslim and I speak as a Muslim. With regards to the first question, you see, when I said how he took the West, more specifically tonight, the British, for a ride. Now the British, you can't say the British are only Christians. My Muslim brothers say they are British. The Jews in this country say they are British. The atheists say they are British. So I said, look, everybody is involved. You don't have to carry any religious label, affiliation, to specifically address you, says now look, you, you as a Jew, you know you are being attacked, you as a Christian are being attacked. I said the whole of humanity, or the whites in general, and we Muslims in particular, everybody is attacked. So we don't have to start separating and say now where is your stand? You as a Britisher, whether you are an atheist, or a Muslim, or whatever you are. If you are a Britisher, you live in this country, you are enjoying the benefits of this land, I want to know what is your stand, what must you do? And I told you, I spelled it out for you. The thing we have to do is to educate the people. About the book, when the, he opens his mouth, Rushdi, so come, 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 let us talk. This is what I'm suggesting, that you call the people for a dialogue. Sit down, man, give him a cup of tea, give him your bhajas and samosas, I don't know whether you understand that. You see, you ask the Pakistani what I'm talking about, you know, I don't know whether you are from Iran or from where, what, what the bhajas and samosas will do, you understand. But our bhajas and samosas will do the trick. Give it to the guy, give it to the guy and talk to him. <laughs> Inshallah, the job will be done. Sure. I 100% agree with what you say and I, th and I think it's a very good idea that in rational debate, it's pointed out that this book is insult against all the religion, not only Islam. The whole of humanity, the whole of humanity. We have the next questioner, please. Would you identify yourself, please? Assalamu alaikum. My name is Khalil. I am British. We say Rajdi, how he pulls the waist. But so far, you know, Mr. Jat mentioned he's a genius. To me, my judgment of the one I've heard from you, he's an idiot. But countries that back him, he has been insulting to so many religions, Hindu, Christian, white, and so on. Now, for them to back him, back the book, what would you call those people who support him to let the books go on? Me, as a Muslim, I say you should be banned from writing. Because no, 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 no. he has I, caused... The thing is now, you educate the people. The people in power, I said, they will do the rest. If you had shown to Maggie what he says about Maggie, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. You didn't tell the people, he said, look how he's abusing our queen. Did you? Anybody did it? Did anybody go and tell the people, he said, look what he's doing to our queen? They are, to they are tolerant in this country, this is the problem. I will find. They are tolerant, they can accept, like we say, the iron lady. There it's isn't a, a Britisher, you can go and tell him that he's the son of a bitch. You go and tell him and see how tolerant he is to you. <laughs> Would you identify yourself, please, and ask your question?